again uh, coming to uh, coming to only the financial sector uh, we have seen uh, i mean i also wrote a research paper on how blockchain can be used uh, you know in uh, 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 possibly making the financial reporting, auditing, accounting structure more transparent and more automated with the help of smart contracts. Uh, so there are certain financial risks involved, uh, which leads to maybe financial fraud or maybe other types of losses. It can be with respect to financial reporting, settlement risk, uh, financial privacy, maybe other financial operations. So, uh, Michael, this will be my question to you, uh, as we have worked in the senior positions of uh, some of the largest financial institutions. So how do you feel can blockchain help in mitigating uh, the financial risks? What are these risks uh, which the current uh, centralized uh, uh, structures, centralized systems are posing still? And uh, how blockchain can help mitigate them? So in the finance world, um, you typically work as counterparties, right? You're a legal entity you have responsibilities, you trade with other counterparties. So if you, if you take um, proprietary trading desks, which trade amongst each other, at the end of the day, it's a legal entity. So blockchain is helpful in recording a piece of data. Maybe it's an agreement you entered into, the price you entered something into, terms, you know, those sorts of things. Or maybe you use uh, what's, what's becoming popular as digital IDs, you know, use of NFTs to record someone's ID. And if they can sign on behalf of that NFT, that would imply they are that person. Uh, the issue and uh, comes down to um, you don't intrinsically, you can't intrinsically be verified as the person purely because you own uh, a, a private key to an NFT. Someone had to verify you in the first instance. Now, it's typically a KYC provider or some sort of intermediary. So this is where you meld blockchain with the real world. And we're talking about, um, you know, KYC providers. They were around before uh, they became prominent in crypto, for instance. So it's taking real world, or shall I say traditional world services and melding um, blockchain solutions into what is still traditional finance constructs for the purpose, really for the purpose of efficiency and for dependability. So the interesting thing with, with crypto, for instance, when you're sending your transacting in tokens, it settles near instantly or 30 minutes later, depending on which network you're using. Um, uh, the network and the transferring is all very efficient, but there's two entities that had to arrange the sending and one entity had to put in the private key to send the crypto over to another receiving entity. So it's how these two meld, which is interesting to me. Uh, and what I'd like to see and what I keep looking for in, in my role with Tokenomic, for instance, looking for new projects that meld the automation that I've just talked about in the traditional sense, the KYC providers actually verify someone before that they print an NFT for them or mint an NFT, um, trying to automate that and bring as much of that on chain or as a, as a um, transparent distributed app, for instance, instead of a business with a business service and they've got their private servers and they do all their computing and verification and then they spit out an NFT instruction to mint an NFT, trying to bring as much of that into the distributed world as possible. I think that's sort of the next evolution you're going to see in the, in the data integrity and information sense. Um, it's quite common now that, you know, NFTs are used to identify a single person, but it still relies on whomever printed it or minted it at the, the end of the day, um, what their processes were, you know, how redundant are they? You could send them an ID and people have this belief that you're holding an NFT. Well, it's an indisputable record on a blockchain. It is. But the authenticity of the person who printed it, who knows? So uh, apart from, you know, these are reputable, reputable businesses typically, I'd love to see more and more of that process brought on on chain. And I think that that really starts to bring the efficiency of just a record into well distributed apps, which print a record and distributed apps are typically more transparent than a black box system you can't see. 
And I think that that keeps the financial institutions more honest in what they're doing. And there's more reliability and more, more belief in a financial system rather than it's the old finance boys at the end of the day, but they print some data on a blockchain. So the more broad that we can, we can um, bring in the, the processes of determining the data before it's recorded on a blockchain and integrating that and making that all distributed and you know public architecture that you can look up, for instance, the better. Yeah, 